Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. Today you join us in the valeting bay of Barrow Motors once again, but today it's not a valeting bay, it's a paint booth. Behind me is my 1,000 pound BMW 7 Series. I keep calling it a Mercedes, it's not. It's a BMW E65 7 Series, uh, 730D, on 166,000 miles. As, as I say, I bought for 1,000 uh, pounds. And today we are gonna plastic dip it. In fact, it's not actually plastic dip, it's a, a company called Full Dip. Before we can paint this bad boy though, there are a few little jobs. We a cat uh, needs sorting out somehow. I mean, look at the magical repair they've done there. Um, I don't even know if we're gonna do anything about that, but we can at least make sure that we get the cat painted. I've removed the zip tie from around it, so that can be done. Uh, Dan is about to change the passenger side front wing because, well, let's have a look. It looks absolutely atrocious and it looks like elephant skin. It's... We've got Jordan and Romas doing a bit of polishing where we've got some weird stains from leaves, which hopefully you can see there. Obviously, you don't really want to paint over that, so that's coming off. I've had James from Jim Repairs come and refill and paint this rear quart for me because it was a right state, and he actually chiseled some of the old filler out with a screwdriver. So, yes, it's not the same colour now. Funnily enough, that's pretty much what colour the whole car is going to be because we are going Nardo Grey. Um, but once once the dip's on there, you're not going to know that it's a different colour underneath. Uh, not much point in getting it painted and spending loads of money. The whole idea is doing this cheaply. This was a £400 kit, £400 to paint a whole car. So we need to wipe the car down completely, mask it off, change the wing first, obviously, and then we can get to spraying it. Um, so I think we'll tackle that today. And then there are a few things I want to do inside. Uh, including a very nice steering wheel I got. Josh, it's in the boot. Can you grab the steering wheel? My love of Alan and his Cantara. Oh, you like your Alcantara wheels, don't you? I do like my Alcantara. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's nice. See, we've got grey and it's going to go Nardo grey. So it's all going to tie in. It's going to be a beauty. Also, the headlights were absolutely knackered. So Jordan and Romas have done a very nice job of refurbishing them as well. You took a before picture, didn't you, Jordan? Yes. Well done, I'm very proud of you. Thanks. Wing off, how would you rate it as far as wing removal goes? Easy, but also fiddly. It's, yeah. Easy and fiddly. Sounds fun. It's like a Ghostbuster. <laughs> Busting makes me feel good. <laughs> Have you got a stirrer? No, but would you like one? Um, yeah. Seems a whisk. Let me get a screwdriver from your toolbox. Surprisingly runny. Yeah. That's, what, that's what a long screwdriver is for, isn't it? Yeah, about all the thicker so stuff. So you've was. offered me one of my own screwdrivers? Yeah. <laughs> all the thicker Thank stuff would have set them to the bottom. Could we have a um, cloth? Some sort. Yes. I know, it's very watery all the way through. I don't know what this thing's for. It's like a little dosing. Mm. I'll insert the music here. I think that's so you can f*** with this. Yeah, do we have breathing apparatuses? Yeah, it's called your mouth. Oh, yeah. I'll do it. I wonder how quick it goes through that. It must be pretty quick. Yeah, considering they're giving you four tubs. Four tubs of four litres. Quick maths, what's that? 16. Yeah, very good. Right, I'm going to do a little bit of practice on the old wing. How confident are you feeling? Immensely confident. Okay. What could possibly go wrong? This is one of those jobs actually where you spend a lot of time and effort preparing something, and you go ahead and you do it and you cock it up and you just think, why did I bother all that time? So coat number one, I mean, it, as a whole, I don't know on camera how it looks, but it's, it's getting towards the right color, but it does look pretty, like it's got some kind of horrible rash. Just 
going to be a bit better. Uh, on it, maybe it looks a bit better. I'm hoping that as it builds up in layers, it's still very wet. It will yeah. smooth out. I mean, the bonnet looks okay. <laughs> Ish. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple it's of better. white marks. Bear in mind, this is only like, this is meant to be just like a dust yeah. of it, just to give it a bit of something to build on. I don't actually want the part to get a little bit more mm. in there. It, should, it should fill out, I think. I reckon it's going to fill out, level out. Bear in mind, we're not really doing paint here, are we? We're doing like a film, like a wrap. So it's going to build up, build up, build up. Um, it's self-leveling. So. You'd hope. Yeah. You'd yeah. hope. Bear in mind, all of this is going on the car, and so far this is four litres. We have used half a litre. What's this in here? 700 mils, and there's at least 200 left. So we've used... 500 mils. Oh, cool. We've used an eighth of one of them. My math isn't good enough to tell me how much of a percentage that is of everything. We're going to be here spraying for a while. Mainly went in. <coughs> I've just, what I did there, you see, was reduce the spray time. Uh, it's going to take us slightly less longer to use it all now. English. Less longer. Less longer. Snag that. <coughs> Not dying. Die quietly. Yeah. <laughs> day two uh we've got pretty good coverage on the car but we have run into a few issues um someone decided to go really heavy to try and get a heavier coat and there are some mass runs jordan please show the people the runs luckily it is just mainly this side jordan's tried to sand this area because uh, there was a little run here. It looks like you can sand it a little bit, but he did break it. So we are going to have to pull it off and do this side again. But how incredibly satisfying. Look at that. Just peels right on off. It's actually very strange when you touch the car now because it's like like the things wearing a skin tight rubber glove the whole thing feels rubbery like it doesn't feel like normal paint because it's not normal paint but yeah so some idiot went crazy with the paint I have a butt crack. so we have to whip it off do that side again but otherwise looking pretty cool right jordan will walk around the other side and show you i think the finish actually looks quite good other than the run, so... So, a lot of people complain about this stuff that it won't peel off. But I guess if you do it right, that should be quite easy. I guess it helps maybe that it's fresh, but... So guys, that is the paint slash dip job finished on the 7 Series. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it when it's in here. It's, well certainly when we first did it I thought, I hate this. But I think it's starting to grow on me. And I think once it's outside and you can actually see it from a reasonable distance, bearing in mind this is a huge 7 Series in our little valeting bay. Uh, I think it's going to look better, so let's chuck it outside and I'll show you what this bad boy looks like. Hiya, 
am actually pleasantly surprised with how all that's turned out. Uh, it's one of, those, one of those things, the further away you are from it, the more of a factory finish it looks. But considering there were some issues with some runs and things like that, uh, and it's far from a perfect finish, and when you're up close and you're really kind of inspecting it and you've been painting it, you can see a bit of a texture and whatever, and you think, oh, it doesn't, it's not going to look like paint. And it's a very weird substance because obviously it's, it's rubber uh, and it feels like rubber. It feels like, you know, when you put your hand over the paintwork, uh, it's, it's like rubbing a latex glove in a non weird way. Um, but yeah, actually, when you kind of like look at the car as you would in any other scenario from a fair distance or you know without really getting up close and scrutinizing it I'm actually really pleased with it I actually think it looks really good um, and perhaps if it was a case of you know it wasn't something that I could peel off within a couple of hours then maybe you'd be like well it's not that great but ah, I'm quite pleased with it uh, let's have a little look so obviously the headlights look way way better thanks to uh, Jordan and Romas giving those a polish up. Um, that was one big detractor for sure. Uh, I think it looks quite good with this matte Nardo grey and the chrome grills. I wasn't sure if they were going to be kind of like a bit jarring and not look very good, but I think it's made it look a load better. I think it looks newer. Um, I guess anything that ends up being in one colour rather than a bit of a patchwork is going to look loads better. Um, but I wasn't sure if it was just going to look like the car's been done in primer and that's it. And mm, it kind of does. And I can see why people would say that. But I still think it looks intentional. You know, it looks like this could have been a factory option. Well, maybe not in this era, but it probably would be now. Um, yeah, I think it looks really good, actually. And all the things where I was worried that there might be runs, etc., probably can't see it with the rain on here but there were some runs here where Jordan was doing a little section and because it's rubber and it got quite thick we actually went and got like a price board number and just scraped it smooth and then sprayed over it so you can probably just about make out see that kind of crease there um, so there are some like details like that um, I'm trying to think where else um, there was a pretty decent run in this little trim here, but we took that off. It's quite easy to just peel it off and go again. New badge on the front. Looking lovely. On the whole, that has really refreshed the car. Next question is, what to do with the wheels? I'm going to have to refurbish them in one way or another because they're just kind of rough. I mean. The front one there doesn't look too bad, but you can kind of see that's not dirt, they're just scruffy um, and just not looking their best. But I actually really like these wheels. They're so deep and chunky, they just, yeah, I think they look awesome. I can't decide whether this car would look better with some spaces on it as well to kind of bring the wheels out to the arches, or is that kind of going to ruin it in a sense? Um, I don't know, depends whether I can even find any. Let me know your thoughts. Would you just refurbish them as they are in whatever silver, BMW silver this is? Or would you do gloss black? I do like a gloss black wheel, and then sometimes I don't like a gloss black wheel. Uh, I think on this, it might make it look a bit sort of cheap and nasty, but on the other hand, it might look really good. I can't really decide. I think maybe the other option would be something like ferric gray. I'll put a little picture up. I did have a ferret grey M135i wheel, um, but that's quite a similar sort of colour and I don't know if that would just look a bit weird. Um, or throw your other suggestions at me. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram already, the handle is at shifting underscore metal. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you are an Instagram user. I will probably put up a poll with a picture of this car saying, what colour would you go? Black, ferret grey, silver? or I will listen to other suggestions. And whichever one gets the most votes, I'm just gonna do it. It's all over to you guys. Then moving forward with this project, what have we got left to do? So obviously wheels need sorting out. I've got a mass airflow sensor, which currently I've got disconnected. If you've watched the previous video, you know that this felt like it didn't really have its full power potential. Um, and I've disconnected that. 
or I say I have disconnected it as if I know what I'm doing, I have no idea. Stefan, one of the mechanics here, has disconnected that and full power is restored. So I've got a, a second hand one of those to fit. Let me turn these wipers off a minute. Um, and so that will get that sorted. I have got my Alcantara wheel to fit, so I'm quite looking forward to getting that done. Um, what else, what else, what else? Still need to do the glass on the wing mirror because that is still smashed. You probably can't see through the rain there. Um, then I've also got some little trim pieces, these little squares that seem to be absolutely everywhere in these seven series. Uh, I've bought half a dozen or so of those, so we'll change that over. And obviously it needs a good valet because I've had the dogs in here as I've been going to and from the farm. So yeah, it's looking pretty grim. Um, oh, I remember what else I was gonna do. I uh, wanna get the funky phone working. And I've also got a navigation disc to get that working. But in the meantime, since uh, I've done the last video and I planned all these things, I have had a potential sponsor get in touch saying that they can provide aftermarket stereo systems, including one for this system, which will fit this old system and work with the MMI, et cetera, et cetera, which would give us Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, DAB, all that sort of stuff. So, fingers crossed, I've sent off details. We're hoping, I'm hoping we can get a radio, especially before I do any road trips in this, because uh, Apple CarPlay is gonna make the journey so much nicer. Um, other than that, Josh, who is our driver, come extra pair of hands, uh, has obviously been watching way too much TikTok and has seen people where they're using the jumbo Sharpies and, and doing the bodywork lines. I'll try and put a picture up to give you an idea. And he thinks we should do that. Or maybe I should just offer it up to say like the local college for the art students to just doodle on it or something because it's a really good background now being this like uh, Matt Gray. Um, so I don't know, let me know, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm open to anything that I think would just be interesting and a bit different. So yeah, don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the wheels. What should I do? What else should I do with this car? As in, should I try and get a college or someone to do some doodling on it or something? Um, or leave it, try and be a bit respectful of the car. Let me know. Um, make sure you please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. There's loads more videos coming, even on this car, plus on my Porsche 911, there's more things happening with that. And as we roll into the new year, I'm really hoping to be able to get some time to work on my Suzuki Ignis Sport that's on 175,000 miles. It's absolutely knackered and needs basically every component repaired, which I'm gonna try and do myself. Uh, that should be pretty hilarious. So like I say, make sure you please do like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.